finding outliers in a data set. A bakery sells 11 types of sandwiches. Here are their calorie amounts. So our data goes from 281, right? And then we have a bunch in the 500 range, a bunch in the 600 range, and then a 942. Identify all values that are outliers. If there is more than one outlier, separate them with commas. If there are no outliers, click on none, okay? So I'm looking at this data set, and like I said, I have one number in the 200 range. And then I jump, right, almost 300 calories to the next one, from 281 to 592. So then I have, right, a bunch in the 590s, high 500s, low 600s, and then I have another jump right here, okay, up to 942, so a jump of more than 300 even this time, okay? So these two, the 281 and my 942 are, are what are called the outliers because they are really pretty far away from the rest of the data, from the main group of data here. So I have two outliers, okay? So we're gonna put 281 and 942, okay? Now here's another data set, right? So here's another one here that says, um, I have 10 participants in an experiment that had the following reaction times in milliseconds. Now I'm 490s, 490s, right? High 400s, then 500. We stay in the low 500s. There's really nothing that's outside of this kind of cluster here. I mean, between 495 and 510, that's only a range of 15 milliseconds, and I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 data points in, the, in those 15 milliseconds in that range. Whereas here, you know, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, 9 calorie counts that fell between 592 and 618, which was 592, like a range of 26. And then I had these two that were way outside of that, okay? So this one right here would have no outliers. I would just click none, because all of these data points are really very close together. 